Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. For this part of the demonstration, we have the Elman unit on in the coag position. The power output is adjusted to almost full output and the active terminal is plugged into the fulgurite unit. What we plan on doing in this part of the demonstration is to illustrate the ill effects of improper setting of the electrosurgery unit. In this case, the switch is in the coag position. The output unit is turned almost all the way up. It is about at an eight and a half. And the active electrode is plugged into the fulgurite terminal. As I make an incision, I will take my time and make a cut slowly. in the hog jaw. Now, as we see along the sides of this cut, the tissue is severely singed, and there is much damage to the surrounding tissue as it has been damaged by the overheating caused by the unit. We now will switch the unit from the coag to the cut mode, and the terminal will be changed to the active terminal. And the cut will now be made In this case, the incision is narrower and there is less damage to the surrounding tissue. Demonstration, the cut will be repeated. However, the length of time for the incision will be reduced. Here again, damage is reduced because the speed was increased to prevent heating of the surrounding tissue. By turning the power down and making another incision, but now the tissue sticks to the electrode when the power is reduced too far. Here we show the tissue adhering to the tip of this electrode after cutting with the output of the unit at too low a value. We will now demonstrate the differences when a smaller diameter wire is used. The unit is placed at a high power output in the cut mode, and again, uh, the unit, the active terminal is plugged into the fulgurate. And an incision is made near where one was made with the larger diameter wire. As I made the incision, I started out at a slow pace and increased my speed, reducing the damage at the latter portion of the cut. However, the proper way to do it would be to have the terminal plugged into the active outlet. The power can be reduced because of the smaller diameter wire and an incision made with almost no damage to the surrounding tissue. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. 
For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu slash license.